Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Russian Fishing 4. It's been a little while since I've been here. I know there was quite a bit of stuff going on with the seven-year anniversary, but I've been, well, working a lot with Fishing Planet, and, well, I figured I might as well take a break, come back here, and maybe do a little bit here as well. I really just can't manage that many uh, fishing games sometimes. <laughs> I do the best that I can. I still like to come back here just to mix things up a little bit and there are a lot of viewers that do love this game and want to see what I can possibly do with it. Anyway, the uh, event is still going on but just for another 10 days and I had only started stage one. I was trying to catch a roughy way at least 80 grams. I was not having any luck getting that little bugger. I'm contemplating going to Winding Rivulet and see if I can't get the uh, Gibble Carp or the Crucian Carp because that actually might be easier to pull off. Plus now that I've got my new gear for fishing in Belaya River I could try to get the Chub and I know exactly where to get them. Just would love to get this doggone Ruffy I've got so close. And I know it's just a matter of time. But right now it's night time. That's the only thing about this game is you can't advance time. I wish that you could. You have to work whenever the clock allows you. If you have to leave and you come back, time has progressed without you. I mean, that's more realistic, I know, but for a casual player like myself, it's a little bit hard to work with. But I'm going to try to come over here. It is nighttime. We might be able to get some Ruffy to bite, but we're going to have to come back over here to the south end of Mosquito Lake and see if we can't fish in some of the spots we were fishing at in the last episode I did. Yeah, the Ruffy like to hang out amongst sunken logs. Especially at night. And if you're going to get them, you're going to get them probably fishing with bottom rods. I have gotten them with, with luring, lure fishing, but it's not been all that easy. It's also not easy now that we've got this fog. Let me see here. Yeah, there's also no fast travel of any kind. You have to huff it everywhere you go. Let's see here. Fog is not making it any easier. That's for darn sure. I might try underneath that tree over there, because... Well, let me see here. Now, this was, this was a good spot right here. And like I said, we are dealing with a little bit of fog, and that's making it kind of difficult. Yeah, I have to go back and do different controls, too. Yeah, let me see. We've got our comma comfort here. Now the roughy. Yeah, they come in kind of small. Red worm should get them. Let's just see what we can do here, guys. Well, that wasn't exactly the best cast.
There we go. Yeah, I'm having to remember the controls. Okay, that was a little little sketchy there going on. I was a little bit worried about getting the snag. And as dark as it is, we are going to have to deal with the bottom rods, all three of them. So I don't think the flow casting is going to help us much. Yeah, I don't think I set the clips on this, so we're just going to have to sit here and hope for the best. It's 3.33. should be getting to be morning soon. Some of this fog will disappear. It's already starting to brighten up a little bit. And my comfort is in the toilet. I could probably fix that with a little bit actually of alcohol <laughs> yeah we have a little bit of moonshine there that might help a little bit yeah we did get us a new rod here can't take it out right now but it's a pretty decent rod. It's basically one of the beginner rods. It is the Siberia Linear S78MH. Came with 16 pounds and that actually added the 16 pound to give it a little more oomph. And Siberia Leader 11 pound and I put this on here. I can now use much larger lures than I have been able to before, which is nice. But we are getting a bite off this one right here. I can definitely see that. Well, there's a roughie. 65 grams. <laughs> You're killing me, guys. You're killing me. They are here. And I knew they would be. Just getting the right size. 15 grams is what I need. I think I was like, at one point in the last episode, I think I was like 6 grams away from having it. Okay, I think it's this one. Well, that one I lost. But this one... There he is! Yes! 143 grams. Holy crap, that's a, actually a very big roughie, guys. That is a big roughie. And actually went a lot quicker this time than it did last time. I was sure. But look at that, 1,144 XP points. And I got a bonus for being tipsy. <laughs> well, that's perfect, because that means we can move on, guys. That means we can move on. Yep, and that's what we're going to... Well, shoot. It's backspace for this one. That means we need to pick these up, and we need to head ourselves over to the Whining Rivulet. Alright, not a bad deal. That worked out much to our advantage, guys. Let's go to the Whining Rivulet. Don't have to pay anything to go there, thank goodness. Yeah, it makes you wonder why that didn't work the first time around, you know? Now, for the Gibble and the Crucians, we should be able to go over here and do something about that. 
We go over to that Oxbow Lake. It's not technically an Oxbow Lake, it's actually... It's turning into one. I don't know if you know your waterway structures, but basically if you look at the map here, eventually this will probably close off right about here and this will become a lake all into itself. But at one time, this river would have flowed through right here where you see my arrow and would have connected and this was an island. But it filled in and this became what they call an Oxbow Lake. And it's almost there, but right here is a great spot for carp. Now it's partly cloudy, so I'm not so sure how good it's going to be, but we're going to see if we can't get some right here. There we go. A little slow. That's alright. We are going to change our baits. I think what we're going to go with, let's see, probably just mixture of different doughs. I think I'm going to go with garlic on this one. I'm going to keep the hook size the same. At least for now. That's not bad. And... I think I am going to do a float rod here too. Just to see what we can get. Oh wow, we're already getting a bite. Now hopefully it's what we're after here, guys. Uh, yeah it is. It's a gibble. Not big enough though. He's a little bit small. But it is a good sign. How big do we have to have him? 1.2? Yeah. It, it has to be or. It doesn't have to be both. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. If we get enough of these out here, we might be able to get one. Okay. Let's see if we can't get the third rod out here. Clicking on the wrong one there. Let's try sweet dough. Yeah, I don't want to try anything too big because, like the corn or something, because we'll just be getting common carp, and that's not what we need. Let's see if we can't put that right about there. Yeah, that's a good spot right there, guys. And I'm going to get my float rod out here. And on that one, I'm going to go ahead and put... I think I'm just going to use regular old wet bread. And we're going to stick that right out there. See if we can't get something's attention. But this is a real good carp spot. Usually, though, it's better on a cloudy day. That's the only thing, but check that out. There's a crucian. Might need to upsize our hook a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to see. That's the second small one, but, it, you know, a lot of times the bigger ones will bite on it, too, so don't rule it out. I'm going to go ahead and put that down because we are going to grab this one. We're getting good bites here. Yeah, we're definitely getting the carp. Let me take a look here. 
So what have I got on here? Tiny hook? Yeah. Let's bump the hook size up a little bit. Let's go up to 14. And we'll use Sweeto on that. This is too small, whatever it is. Ooh, it's a little tinch. Isn't he cute? Yeah, we'll size that hook up too. Let's make that one a 10. And we'll go with garlic dough for that. We are definitely getting bites. Okay, this one's a little bit bigger. Okay, 3.3.1, 3. 3. 1, 3. nothing. 313 grams. Still too small, but bait is not. Oh, we're out of bait. Really? Used up all that bait, huh? Put I'm out of garlic dough. Well, let's try the cottage cheese dough and see what that does. Yeah, I had a bunch of people gift me some baits and lures and things, and I think I've just used it up. one is going nuts. Can't really tell. It's this one here. Okay, I want to be sure he's on there. Ah, he got off. He little pain in the butt. Yeah, he wasn't Quite on there good enough. Yeah, I'm going to put this a little bit deeper. Put it about 60. That's still good. See if anything's gonna go for that. I thought I saw it bob up a little bit. Yeah, something's nibbling at it. Ever so lightly. And then we're definitely getting one off this one. Yeah, but I want to be sure he actually takes it. Yeah, we're definitely getting a bite off this one, too. Alright, we've got him. He's on there. Ah, that looks a little healthier. $4.99. Hmm. So 1.2, we're only halfway there. Damn. That was definitely getting bit on by a Crucian Carp. I'll try to get that out there ways. There we go. A 
Let me put this down for the moment. I need to reel this in a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought for a minute there that was a, a roach by the way it was biting, but... I think we got one on here, too. No, we were just getting a bite. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's tighten this up. That's better. A little more like it. Now there's no shortage of bites, that's for sure, but... It's just going to be a matter of timing and luck. If we get a big one. Let me see. Oh, 445. It's like we're just getting... We're getting them. What size hook do I have on here? 14? Yeah, I'm going to bump it up a little bit more. Let's put it at 8. Keep the same bait. They seem to like that pretty well. Snag. Okay, is something going for that? Yeah, something is. We got him. We got him. I thought I saw something. And his, this one's got some oomph to him. Let's see. Oh! So close. 1.016 kilograms. We need 1.2 or better. We did get a rank 1 telescopic rods fishing. But that's the biggest one so far, guys. Hold on, we're going to have to... Apparently I got me a snag over here. And let me tell you, there are some things you can do. Sometimes you just have to cut your losses, literally. But I'm trying to come over here to see if I can't dislodge it. Whatever it is there, it's snagged pretty darn good. Well, we had to tear it off. Dad got it. Alright, hold on. And we're getting a bite over here again. See, the only problem with that is that's where I got snagged. But it's also where the big fish are. <laughs> so it's like... You take a chance no matter what you do. The only good thing is, is I do have... 
an extra bottom rod that we can bait up. I'm glad I didn't lose my tiny hook though. That would have kicked me off. I want to put a four on this one. And I'm going to put... I do have garlic though. What the heck did it... How the heck did it run out? I don't understand that. Okay. I'm thinking what might have happened is I got a bite and the fish snagged it for me, which I have seen them do. On more than one occasion, but we're going to keep an eye on this because I knew something was definitely biting, and that's how we got that big one. Come on. Yeah, this is definitely a gibble or a crucian carp because that's the way they bite. They'll peck at it, peck at it, and peck at it. Fiddle and fiddle and fiddle. Ah. Sometimes when they raise it up like that, you can get them, but... Ah. Well, what it is, but it keeps wanting to cast it too far over there. I want to... There we go. Well, kind of going away however what it, it's kind of going however it wants to it seems like yeah we'll just keep an eye on it all right we're back ah they are definitely playing with me Okay, that's good. That's exactly where I wanted it in the first place, but I kept getting it over there in the lily pads. I'm keeping an eye on this one. This one's looking like he's taken off with it. Yep. That's a little gibble. Come on. Need to quit playing around. I got him. I got him. I got him this time. I don't think he's big enough, though. No, nope. 308. How big of a hook do I have on here now? Oh, I still got a tiny hook. Yeah, let's upsize that a little bit. Let's go with a four. Oh, crap. Ooh, this is a big one. <laughs> there it is. Task accomplished. 1.451. Gibble Carp. We got him. Not bad. Not bad at all. 1.2 kilograms of the Winding Rivulet. We got him. Let's keep him. We have met our goals fairly quickly, too, actually. Let's see what we got on here. This guy's not bad, either. I keep doing that. Backspace. See, in Fishing Planet, zero puts it away. <laughs> so I keep it. Alright. Well. In one sitting, we managed to complete two of the options here. Now we go to Balea River. And I really wanted to do that because I want to try out my new gear. So 
so that's what we are going to do. But I think... Eh, let's just sell it at Belaya River. We might get a good price there, too. Well, I don't know. Wait a minute. Before we do that, before we do that, this is probably good enough for an episode anyway, but we'll get to Belaya River at least to start off the next episode. I'm going to come over here and see if we've got any... Any orders at the cafe? If we have orders, we can sell these guys and get some decent cash. Okay, we got... Yep, we got... One for Ruffy, but I'm not so sure that I'm not going to get a better price. But this one... Let's see, do I have enough of them? No, I do not. And for this, I do have enough of them. So we got rid of that order. 768 for two pieces. Two pieces of Ruffy, but I don't have any. Well, let's come over here and sell what we got, because we don't want to carry all this stuff with us if we don't have to. Yeah, he was definitely... Look at that. thirty-two ninety-eight for that Ruffy, guys. He was a trophy, apparently. A little trophy Ruffy. He was 340. That one was 251. This one was 359. So not bad at all. Actually, let's go to Balaya River and see if maybe they've got some. Well, no. I have a feeling the orders are going to be different. Well, let's just go there and see. Balaya River. See what they might pay for the fish and see if their orders are any different. I'm sure they're not going to be asking for what I have, but. Alright, we are at Balaya. Haven't been here for a minute. Okay, there's the grocery store, there's the cafe, and do we have different orders? Yes, we do. So. They're different, but we don't have... They're not asking for anything that I already have, so... Let's just go to the fish market and sell them. Looks like the prices are about the same. So that doesn't change. 36 35 That's 50 Personal record, the most expensive fish was that Ruffy. Wow. That's not bad. But yeah, this is where we need to get the chub, and this is where I need to get some grinding done, guys. Because with that new rod, I've been told that you get the brown trout, and the brown trout are great to, for grinding. And it looks like they even have a couple of emission here. If you can get 500 grams, two pieces... 48 to 66 and it looks like they are really paying well for the bleak here and although bleak can be kind of boring you can definitely get some xp and cash from bleak i tell you anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and i will be back with another episode of russian fishing 4 and we will be taking on the chub and the brown trout this time anyway guys as i always say Aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.